Shining Fates is easily the most anticipated set of 2021. Everybody is concentrated on this release right here and finding the Covington. Very expensive for our Shining Charizard V Max. And ladies and gentlemen, today is the video where Uncle Ando will be opening up his very first ever Shining Fates booster. For today, we are not only opening up the brand new Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box right here, but we've also got a Boltland tin. Completely sealed, got all the packs inside. We've also got the good old Elder Gloss. These are all Shining Pokemon, by the way. First time I've ever seen any of these products. And then we've also got the Cremorant. So... I think we're going to open up the uh, ETB first because that's what I'm most excited about. You get a bonus EV inside and you get 10 boosters. I swear, if we find the Charizard, I'm going to jump into the next country. Like out that window, over the sea, and whatever country I land on. Probably New Zealand. Anyway, holy smokes. Guys, I'm so nervous right now because... I've dead set, not watched any Shining Fates videos. I've not read about this set too much at all. I just know the Shining Charizard's in there. That's what we're going to get. And this is all going to be for the first time. Holy smokes. All right, so we're going to read the uh, checklist in a second because we're going to have a look at what's inside. But let's open the top off. Then we're going to get the cardboard out like usual. Holy smokes, look at this. Look, there's our 10 booster packs. Oh, the artwork. The artwork is amazing. Charizard, Toxtricity, Dragapult. This is unreal. Yo, oh my gosh. This is going to be a fun... If you haven't demolished the like button, please do it. Like, we've got so many products to open up today. Get the rule book as per usual. What sleeves do we get? Oh, the Eevee. That is awesome. So, got our Eevee sleeves, and that can sleeve up our beautiful Eevee VMAX promo, which we'll have a look at in a second. Got the uh, poison and damage counter. Got the deck dividers, so when you store all your cards in here, you can go EXs, commons, whatever. And then, looks like we got our energies, our stack of energies, just to make your collection look a little bit bigger for uh, when you're showing it off to people. Got the code card, that one's on the house, Merry Christmas. And a bunch of, looks like diarrhea dots. That's kind of the color scheme. Or chocolate mousse, that's probably a better way to put it. Let's actually have a look at the player's guide and see what cards we're gonna track down today. Alrighty guys, welcome back to what is another classic episode of Reading with Ando. Today we're going to be reading the Shining Fates Player's Guide, aka the checklist. Now, you know what you do with these things. You go straight to the back, and we have a look at some... Oh, okay. Alright, I knew it was good, but this is ridiculous. Look at this. So it looks like the Zamazenta and Zacian um, gold cards aren't in the set. I think because they're with the ETB Pluses, so it looks like it's just the Eternduses, uh, the VMAXs, and the V. This is what I want. This is literally the do or die card right there. Charizard, VMAX Shining Full Art. Um, another cool one's like Toxtricity, Rillaboom, Ditto, and Grimmsnarl would be the end of the world. And then all of the Shinings. Like, look at these. These are all Shining Pokemon cards. So lit- Oh, Graplock in the red form? Yo, this is crazy. And then it looks like the normal one, the uh, other subset. It's got a bunch of like regular full arts, including Skylar. Yo, okay. Let's save some of this for a uh, bit of a surprise. Cinder Ace V and V Max. But this set, with brand new amazing rares, it's going to be something else. All right, so pretty much if you buy an Elite Trainer Box of Shining Faith, you're guaranteed, at minimum, say you got some error sort of Elite Trainer Box, nothing was in the boosters. At minimum, you're still going to get an EV V Max in the baggie. I think I might, I don't know, should I PSA grade this? Because I have sent off my other Japanese one, which was a um, tournament one. Over in Japan, the EVV Max, which is the same artwork, the only way to get it was to win a rock, paper, scissors battle at a Pokemon card tournament. Not even making that up. So I kind of think I might get that out to get it graded. But then again, I want to see how many Elite Trainer boxes I can track down. Um, before I start busting those Eevees out. But let's do it. Let's open up our first ever Shining Fates booster pack right here. Oh my goodness. This could determine how we're going to go. This is going to be our luck. Man, this just feels like a fresh booster pack. Now, I heard every single code, they fixed it up, is going to be a white and green. I reckon it's going to be four for the back, so hopefully we're right there. And let's get this party started. We get a Darkness type energy, then a Rusted Sword, Dartrix. This is the first time I'm viewing the set, so if I go a bit slower on the artwork, don't uh, yell at me in the comments. Yanma, more Pico with Shuckle in the background? Dude, that is awesome. Got a Chutal, I don't know why he's biting on the uh, bit of branch there. Got the EV, going for a swim. Got a Horsey as well. And then we've got a Shining Flipping Galarian Surfetched 
on the first ever booster in a regular rare ball canyon right after that one. Oh, mama! That is awesome! We managed to pull a shining card on my first ever pack. Looks really cool as well. It's a golden surf edged. That is unreal. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments our first card. Let me know how you're going as well. Have you found the set? I know it's particularly hard to track down. Um, how many shining cards do you have? Oh, my, oh, I will take that as our first poll. Galarian Surf Etched. Alright, so it looks like it is. Fourth in the back, so let's do that again. And hopefully repeat our luck. I've heard you roughly get around one shiny full art card per Elite Trainer box. It's not guaranteed, like typical English, but usually the ratios are sitting around there. Got a Cacnea. Horsey, Q Font as well. Man, this is looking good. Got a Chutu again, Yanma, Q Font Reverse, and a Manaphy as the regular rare. Very playable card. Look how good that artwork looks, though, guys. Shining Fates, like, knocked it out the park, haven't they? Oh, I am obsessed. All right, let's give our Shining Pokemon a friend. I want to get him another Pokemon equally as shiny. Hopefully a bit of Sparkle to Darkle. Let's go. Okay, Electric, Rusted Shield this time. Float Cell. Eevee, more Pico, love the cameos, such good artwork, Chutul, and then, what do you think, Grookey, and another one, this time it's Shiny, Thrillaboom, as the Shiny card, and Professor's Research, with a different Professor, so put that one to the side, I'm thinking back to Champion Spark, but oh my goodness, Hammer in with 140 as the attack, what a card, we just pulled this in Shiny Star V in Japanese as well, which is so funny. Dude, we are killing it. Three packs in, two shinies, and a full art EV. I knew this set would bring the goods, and honestly, guys, the more thumbs up, the more positive comments you guys leave in the comment section, the more Shining Fates videos I want to do on the channel. I already knew I wanted to start it off with a huge bang by doing four separate products in one video. I wanted to make it up to you guys and just absolutely kill it. Hopefully go hunting for the Charizard on the first ever opening. But the more thumbs up and comments, I think the more openings we're going to do. Try and complete the entire set if you're down. Chutal, more Pico, Rowlet Reverse, and a Hollow Frostmoth. It's our first Hollow, guys. It's funny it's a Frostmoth, though. All right. Put you at the back. Don't fall down. You're going to go stay behind Pikachu. And looks like we're about halfway through the Elite Trainer Box. I knew it would go fast. It always does in our first ever opening. So let's do it. We're going to Fire Type. Hopefully a good sign. Man, I wonder what our full art card's gonna be. If all goes wrong though, on the ETB, we have got the tins. Spinneract, a Snom, Grookey. Yes, we pulled the first ever full art shiny card, and this time it's Toxtricity, a really good one. Yo, look at that bad boy. Have you ever seen more glitter? Dude, literally my year two project at school was covered in glitter, but I still think this card has more. Look at that thing, Gigantamax Toxtricity. VMAX, that is unreal, and a beautiful Dreadnought behind it, but wow, this is a set I hope you guys are down for, where I want to genuinely collect it all, like I'm so excited by all these cards, and I think it's a really good looking Pokemon card set, Toxtricity VMAX Full Art card, now, I hate to say it, but that might actually be our only Full Art Shiny of the ETB, we still have tins, but the gold cards are randomly inserted, so there is a chance we could get some kind of Eternatus just showing up randomly. Alright, so we've got a Psychic, Rusted Sword, Luxio. Then we've got more Pico again. Nothing wrong with that. Spinneract, Rowlet, more Pico, Manaphy, and a Volcanion as the regular rare. Very interesting. What do you guys think that they put regular rares back in the Pokemon card set? Like, Champion's Path just had hollows after hollows after hollows. And now they're back to making it feel a bit more, you know, difficult to get. Like, you can get a bit of a poopy booster. So we've got Rusted Sword. Got a Luxio as well. Rowlet. Q-Font. Spinarak, come on, another shiny. Snom. Oh, I skipped one. Got a Horsey. Coughing. Oh, nice! First V-Card. It's a Ditto as well. I really want that blue Ditto full art card, guys. Like, any of them. Honestly, the V-Max is just beautiful, though. I gotta get the V, though. You gotta get the, you know, beginning one. That's our first V as well. That's so killer. Oh my goodness. All right, so ditto V card as well. Wow. Anyone else sort of low-key just came for the recap already? Just to have a look at back over the cards. Man, I'm. you know what the best part is? 
This is my first ever opening, right? So I get to make a binder, my brand new. I'm gonna whip out an unlisted leaf binder and start filling in the slots, collecting them all. Whoa! Trap inch artwork, guys. 10 out of 10, I would look at it again. Yanma, popping. And it's another one. This time, it's Farlink Shiny. Look at the hits, guys. Galarian Weezing as well. I'm going to put that one in the back. But look at that. Nice moose-colored Farlink. Little bit miscut. Like, holy guacamole, that thing's really top-heavy. But honestly, like, I can't complain at all. That's just another shiny that I definitely need in my binder. Um, I love to get a master set before I start sending random stuff off to grade. Uh, minus the Charizards. I know I'm never doubling up on those, but... This is the second to last pack, guys, alright? I feel like we've had more than ridiculous luck today. That has been such a good start. What a great cross-section of everything. Like, nothing stuffed up. We got our full arts, got our shining cards, V cards, got our EV. So, prediction is nothing will be on the final two packs right here. Rotom and Zarude. Awesome! The brand new Pokemon's in this set, and the sun's coming out as well. It's gonna blind me. Alright, this is the final pack. Let's open you up. What do you guys think? Anything to end off the uh, ETB? Got an unlisted leaf? I reckon it might be a V card or something. Unlisted leaf always pulls through for us. Team Yeltao. Nick it. Then we're gonna rail it. Trap Inch. Brazil. And then. Oh! Get on my level! Holy guacamole! Oh my goodness! It's a double hitter! It's a literal double hitter! I not only go and pull Eternatus V full art. Do you know how hard that is? And then a Crobat V on one elite trainer box. Oh, if you haven't demolished the like button, ladies and gentlemen, I might have peaked on my first product. Are you kidding me? Wow, that is gnarly as. Holy smokes, look at that thing. Eternatus V and then Crobat V. Oh my goodness, Dynamax Cannon and Power Accelerator. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, let's get into the tins right now. Okay, that gold card was ridiculous and I still can't believe I did that. Who pulls a gold card after that ridiculous luck on an ETB? I've got no idea, but we've also got three tins to get through. So let's open up these. All right, so basically I've never seen a um, tin be open before. So let's have a look at what we got. We got all three of the artworks. I think these are really sick because they actually come with a full art card rather than just a boring old uh, V card or maybe even a V Max. Look at this, this is ridiculous. How does it come with a full art V card? And how many, no way, is it five? Yo, there's five actual boosters in here, guys. Dude, okay. So, a full art card and five different packs. So, I guess I'll unbox the uh, Boltland one next. So, you get the full art Boltland card and I guess five packs as well, which is pretty gnarly. Yeah, literally, look at that. Five different boosters. That's unreal. Uh, and then the last tin right here is my Cramorant one. This is easily hands down my favorite. Look at the orange bird. Like, tell me that's not the best tin you can get. Shiny orange Cramorant full art and five different boosters. Let's do it. So then, guys, that pretty much means before you even open up any of the boosters, you've got a full art gorgeous looking orange bird, which is a Cramorant full art shiny V. You also get the shiny Boltland V as well, which looks absolutely awesome in that lime green and a nice pinky gold sort of Elder Goss right there. Look at the sparkle. This is amazing. These are all full arts with the full art texture and everything. Cramorant, as I said, is probably my favorite. But let me know in the comments, which one are you most likely to buy? Oh, dude, this is awesome. So, three full arts already off the bat, just out of the tins. Um, we'll come back to those on the recap. They're all promo cards as well. And let's get into our final 15 boosters. I don't know what the ratios are. I don't know... I think it's just all over the shop. It's classic tin sort of pulls. You could get a full art, you might not. It's literally up to you. And let me know where you're getting out those code cards. If someone pulls a Charizard, you're legally obligated to tweet me or tag me on your Instagram. All right, so we've got Cramran. That looks pretty cool. Rusted Shield. And we've got Eevee as well. Got the Yanma. Glossopher. Then a Snom. Qfont. Reverse Rotom and Yanmega. This could go drastically wrong as well. We might not be able to get anything at all. Maybe the tins aren't all they cracked up to be. The Hidden Fates ones, I gotta say, on the first edition, like when Hidden Fates first came out, the tins were actually quite lit. They were really good. And that's how everyone sort of got their Charizard. So in my head, I'm like, probably should get a couple of different tins just to have a look at the pulls. Q font. And a Manaphy with Decidueye as the holo. And have a look at the pulls, see what we can get. 
And I was kind of like, I gotta get the tins at least once just to get those promo cards. Um, obviously you gotta start collecting all the promos for Shining Fates. There are so many products out by the way. There's a certain Shining Fates product you see at the shops. You're like, Ando, you gotta do that. Let me know and I'll try to track it down and open it on the channel. But I thought we'd start with the tins and the ET Bigs. They're the most exciting ones. Coughing, more Pico. Got the Eevee and a very playable Manaphy. But not what we're looking for. This is the final pack of the first tin. Which ironically, I hate to say it. It's the Cramorant, my favorite one. Come on, all that was in there is gonna be a holo card? No way. Swing it around, we got a water type. Team Yeltel, Eldegoss, Luxio, got a Chutzel, Yanma, more Pico, Eevee, Glossifer, oh no. Okay, unless we get an absolute redeeming sort of tin right here. All that we got in there was a single individual holo card. Four from the back. So maybe the ETBs are definitely the move. Let me know, like, how are we going to track down this Charizard? I need no ratios, products to open up. Shinx, and if you guys do want to actually see me hunt down that Charizard. Yanma, coughing, Eevee, and then, whoa! Dude, boss's order? That's crazy. So it's very similar cards, but they're substituting out the artworks? Because that's supposed to be a Giovanni. Dude, that is gnarly as... Okay, four from the back, swing it around. Fire type, please let that say something. Float cell. Haven't even got a shiny, just a regular shiny would be cool. Coughing, and then Rowlet with none other than a full art shiny Lapras. Get on, oh, that is awesome. Look at that, no way. Lapras is actually a really good one to get as well. I'm gonna take a full art any day of the week. Man, this is so much fun. Oh, okay, so Lapras, V card, full art, not bad. I gotta say, these tins, uh, their ratios are gonna be all over the shop. Like, look, look at this one. We got two full arts, including the promo that we got at the front. But the last tin, all we got was a holo card. Hmm. But in saying that, that was a Lapras, so that was actually a really good pull. Um, yeah. I mean, we haven't doubled up on any Shinings either, which is great news. How big is the set? 72 plus whatever Shining oh, ratios at the back there as well. So the Shining's gonna be very painful. We're gonna get so many double ups on this first set right here. And then when it gets to the Shining set, we're just gonna... It's gonna be a lot of doubles. Leading up to us trying to complete both of them. But that's gonna be okay. So let's go four. Scarily, we're about halfway through our boosters already. It's been a bit average. I think the ETBs are probably the move. Got a Snom, a Qfont, Grookey. Then... Ah, uh, Zarud as the reverse. I know heaps of people trying to complete the set or get all their favorite cards as the reverse slot, so... Don't chuck away your reverses, they seem to be very tradable. Very, like, at the moment, because everyone's into the set. Like, you could probably trade for anything, you know, with your... Brand new Shining Fate sort of pulls. Electric, we got a Tropius. Bull Guy, not bad. A lot of hype for Bull Guy all the time. Could have spinner act. Rowlet, more Pico, and a shiny coughing! I always get around shiny coughing! Look at that light blue and hollow frost moth! Yo, look at that! That frost moth gives me Rebel Clash vibes. But coughing shiny with the purple gas, light blue body. Dude, that is. You imagine finding that in the video game? That would look so sick. Great looking card. Love that there's like that texture on there, that classic full art texture on the picture box. Makes those cards so special. Really, really stand out. And we've got about one tin left. So after this one, it's our final five boosters. So let's put you to the side. And it looks like there's something inside of this one as well. Four from the back. I can already say, like, how hard is this Charizard going to be to track down? Oh my goodness. Tropius, Rotom, got a Yanmar as well. Eevee, more Pico, got a Golosifer. Oh, it's a double up. It's our first double up. I jinxed it. I knew I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, whoa, look at that, look at that. We pulled two full arts back to back. I didn't know you could do that. So, oh my goodness, okay. So we got a Gym Trainer full art and Lapras V double up. So that makes up for the double up because we'll just pretend that that's our first Lapras. But whoa. So we go and get shiny Lapras V full art and then full art Gym Trainer. Ladies and gentlemen, I got a technical like God pack out of the English. Two full arts, one booster. Oh my god, that's so sick. What are these pulls, guys? This is craziness. As if this is a set. So this is our final 10, our final five booster packs, alright? And then that's it. I gotta wait till I find more Shining Fate stock. But, you just guys gotta hype up the like button, as I said. Share it around, leave comments. 
and we're going to keep doing this. I reckon this is a set I could open up every day of the week on the channel and never get bored. Like, until we hit that Charizard. Until we find the one card we're looking for. Let's keep it going. Oh, man. There's nothing like a brand new set. I mean, 25 boosters on the first opening? Not too shabby. This set doesn't come out as a booster box. The only way to get it is through those promo boxes. So, uh, yeah. It's a tough cookie to try and track down because you're going to get... A lot of expensive products to get a few boosters. And there we go, another shiny. This time it's Cooper Roger in that mossy green, awesome orange tinge. And a Dreadnought as the regular rare. Good looking elephant. I love you, bud. All right, Cooper Roger, you got the back. Gosh, this recap is going to be 10 minutes long, but it's going to be the best 10 minutes of your life. Three boosters to go, I said? Yeah, three. All right. Okay. <sighs> Full art card. Yes, let's do it. Okay, open this up, you to the side, one more full art, one more full art, it's probably going to be impossible, but this is technically a separate tin from the last one, so it, oh, it could be, it could be a thing. Eldegoss, then we got Tropius, Rowlet, more Pico, and then it's going to be a Reverse Brazil and Frostmoth again, probably our most doubled up on Hollow card. Second to last booster. Put you to the side. There's that code card. I hope you guys are getting something absolutely delicious in those code cards. Darkness type. We've got a Cramorant. I love the artwork. We've got a Tropius. Horsey. We've got a Snom. And then... Oh, it's more Pico. So, oh, that's awesome! Whoa! Celebi is a regular rare? Heck yeah, that's so cool! I'm honestly going to put Celebi at the back because I actually really enjoy that card. I think it looks so sick. And then the final booster of our epic Shining Fates opening right here. My first ever gigantic opening. Let's just pray for the best. See what we get. There's the code card. Let's go for Swing it around. A fire type to start it off. Can that be a sign? I'm really hoping for it. I get a towel. More Pico. Coughing. Got lots of fur. Just hopefully we don't see a reverse, guys. Q font. I mean, that's not even too bad. That's our first Cramorant VMAX. That is how you're going to end it. The final card is a Cramorant VMAX with his green beady looking eyeball right there. The colors on that card are absolutely gorgeous as well. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. But really epic way to finish off this opening. Let's have a recap of just ridiculous proportions. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, to start this recap off, I've made the executive decision. We're going to trim the top of this EVV Max off because i got to have at least one in the binder. I think I'm going to send one off and we'll try to keep one. So at some stage, we need to get another couple of ETBs. But for my very first one, let's open this up. It looks to be in fantastic condition. And look at that. It's like an almost watercolored hand-painted sort of artwork, and I love it. So that's a promo card, number 87 right there. Eevee looking absolutely awesome. VMAX Gigantamax version. Big old uh, fluffy tail Eevee. Now, let's put that one in the back. And let's have a look at the recap that we got out of all the products that we opened today. It was gnarly as so much fun. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. But we got a Frostmoth Holo. Doubled up on a couple of these. Got a Galarian Weezing, Decidueye, another Frostmoth, another Frostmoth. And then we got the Ditto V card right there. Looking good. Got to have your Ditto Vs. Then you got your Crobat V, and then you got your Full Art Gym Trainer, which is out of the regular set. So there's two separate sets. You got your shiny one and your regular one, but you got the Full Art Trainer. Then we got the Kramer and V Max card, which I personally find amazing. The colors are awesome. Kramer is such a funny Pokemon. And then the shinies. Just do your seatbelts up because we're heading to Shiny Town right now. We got Rillaboom Shiny right there. Then our first ever pull, Galarian Surfetched. Looking amazing. Got the Fire Link Shiny. Then the Coughing as well. Then the Cooper Roger. What? That was ridiculous. And then we got the promos again. So Cramorant Full Up V card. Then a Boltland V. And Elder Goss, which are all shiny Pokemon. And then you got the Lapras V. This is getting ridiculous. This is getting like way too much. But we doubled up on the Lapras V. Shiny Full Art. And then look at this shiny V Max Toxtricity. So much glitter. You thought that was the pinnacle of the video. Oh, honey, check this out. On the first ever Shining Fates opening, I pulled a full of gold card. What do you guys think of that bad boy? Definitely let me know in the comment section below. I absolutely love it. 
Hopefully we can pull the VMAX version really, really soon. And uh, yeah, hopefully we're opening up more Shining Fates products very soon on the channel. Definitely demolish the like button. Click subscribe if you're brand new. We do Pokemon card openings nearly every single day. But until the next big old opening, me and the gold card, Eevee and the rest of the Shinies. We'll see you then. Keep on gaming, guys.